Hey, it's Dave Brown here, host of Now with Dave Brown on AMI. Check out this latest highlight from the show. The world of Paris sports is always a busy one, and there are a few major Paris sport competitions on the horizon. The 2023 Para Pan Am Games are taking place this fall in Santiago, Chile, and the 2024 Summer Paralympics are taking place in Paris, France next year. So, a busy year for elite athletes across the country, which means you need a little bit of help from the Chef de Missions and the National Sports Organization. So who better to look ahead than Carolina Vizhnevska and Josh Vandervies, the country's co-chefs de mission, heading into those games. Hey, Josh, great to chat with you. Oh, you too. Thanks for having us today. And saying hello to Carolina. Carolina, it's been a couple of years. Nice to chat with you as well. Nice to see you again, Dave. So looking ahead to the Para Pan Am Games, Josh, from an athlete perspective, what is the level of competition as these athletes are getting ready for the games? Well, the competition is is high, Dave. It's a it's a very high level of competition. We we think about the Paralympics as the pinnacle. That's the beauty of international sport. Then we can remember all of these other multi-sport games on the calendar, like the Para Pan Ams. Um the you know, we're going to have Paralympic and world champions from countries in probably many of the sports, maybe all of them. We're going to have top performances. So you never know when uh, when a pinnacle of a sport performance can can happen. And so Canadians are going to be ready. They're going to seize the opportunity to the to have the expanded uh, field and uh, and they're going to be ready. Carolina, what does the overall preparation for Team Canada look like going into something like the Parapens that are just a few months away? That's a great question. So obviously, as you've noticed, uh, there are two of us, two co-chefs de mission for Santiago and Paris. So we are an integral part of that preparation. Uh, it's a great opportunity for us actually to have the Parapan Ams in Santiago ahead of the Paralympic Games next year because uh, many of the athletes who will be competing in Santiago will also be competing in Paris or be trying to qualify for Paris. But also it gives us an opportunity to make sure that we're already well prepared as a team in advance of Santiago, which means that by the time Paris rolls around, hopefully it's old hat. But it's certainly, uh, you know, from a, from a high performance perspective and from a preparation perspective, as Josh mentioned, you never know when a world-class performance will take place. And as a high performance athlete, uh, Josh and I were both uh, uh, Paralympians. Um, you always prepare for every competition as though like, it's the Paralympics or, or the World Championships or the biggest competition you've ever been in. That's really a, a solid way to approach any kind of inter international competition and even a national competition. It's to get into that mindset again and again and again so that when you have to be in that mindset, say at the Paralympic Games, it's not something new and you're able to cope with the pressure with your own expectations and so on. I'm going to ask this question to both of you, but, I, but I've got a premise here about momentum, and you're both welcome to reject this premise. But Josh, if somebody puts together a really strong performance at the Para Pan Am, how does that help them build towards the games in Paris? Oh, well, momentum is important. It's critical. It can also be fickle, Dave. This is <laughs> what we learn as athletes. I mean, there's this concept there are superstitions out there you can have a an amazing warm-up and then the worst performance or the worst warm-up and then the best performance so it's good to recognize momentum and it's also good to to not be a slave to it the the smile on carolina's face when you said fickle just shined through <laughs> the screen carolina i feel like maybe you've got a similar perspective on that one when it comes to momentum well i think First of all, I was an alpine skier, so momentum. There's a lot of momentum in skiing. <laughs> um, you got to keep it going. Uh, it's really downhill, and it's not all typical. You're just going with gravity. Um, I'm kidding. That's actually not true. Um, <laughs> but I will say, you know, I really agree with Josh. Uh, you can't put too much stock into momentum. I mean, as an athlete, you kind of have to be ready for whatever, uh, the best, the worst, and everything in between. Uh, and then to be able to deal with that. So 
here we go. Here I am on the podium in 2010 at the Vancouver Paralympics. <laughs> and then I think I had to compete the very next day. And so that's amazing. It's a super exciting momentum, but it's also draining and like everything coming together. And then I have to ski again the next day. So whether it goes well or not, you have to be able to get back into your headspace, into your zone and perform again. Um, so I think the, the wisest thing to do vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the Parapanams and Paris, and there's a big enough gap anyway to do some intensive training and thinking in that time period, is to take whatever you do and learn in Santiago as an athlete, good or bad, and apply it and use it to your advantage in Paris. Carolina, because you've competed at that elite level and you've worked with Chef de Missions before you, what are you hoping to bring to the athletes here ahead of the games in Chile, ahead of the games next year in France? What are you hoping to build upon and offer up to athletes as they're getting ready and you're getting ready to go represent the country yet again? That's another great question, Dave. Um, actually, back in my day, the Chef de Mission was not an athlete. So I think Josh and I bring something super special, which is that we are both Paralympic athletes with both. We have both these amazing long careers with ups and downs and all sorts of things in between. So together we bring a wealth of experience. We have different approaches and different personalities, but I think we're very unified in terms of our vision and, and what we'd like to bring to the team. Um, and I will say that what's important to us as well, of course, it's the athletes and supporting those athletes to help them achieve their best performance, but it's also supporting them in what other, other, whatever other ways they need and supporting the staff who surround them because those are the people, their coaches, their physiotherapists, their sports psychologists, all those people are the people that these athletes have known for years and have worked closely with for years. And so that's their team. And so our job is really to support the whole of Team Canada. And I think that's really important to remember. Josh, a similar question to you. With the experience you bring as an athlete, how are you hoping that's going to translate to the support you can offer as a chef de mission? Well, it it gives us the the needed perspective, as as Carolina is is alluding to, and uh, and raising here. It, when you've really been in it, when you've been competing, when the when the stakes are so high, you just you understand what it's like, and you can't understand what it's like in, unless you've been there. So, I'm going to be focused on building those moments on the ground at the competitions. It's it's moment to moment and interacting with every team member and trying to figure out which way they need to be interacted with, positively, negatively, encouragingly, kindly. That's uh, you know a, a developmental mindset to always be looking around and trying to see uh, um, what somebody needs to to develop. There's only about two minutes left before the network uh, boots us off for the day. But Josh, how hard is it for an athlete to live in that moment, to be in the moment and appreciate where they are as they're going through a competition? It's tough. This is getting into the flow state. You know, I finally pulled off a bronze medal in London 2012 in Bocce at the pinnacle of, of my career. And if I knew how to get into the zone, to get into the moment on demand, then uh, my medal would have been gold and I would have had unlimited medals. So this is the holy grail that we're all after is getting into the zone, seizing the moment. Carolina, again, knowing there's a hard network out in about two minutes here, what is it like for an athlete trying to get into that moment, live in that moment, maybe not get lost in some of that noise? W what do you think a chef de mission can do to maybe help a first-time athlete or a second-time athlete maybe embrace that moment a little bit? Oh, the list is long, so it's more than two minutes, but I will say I was really, really fortunate to have a very long career to compete at three Paralympic Games to get eight Paralympic medals. So I had many tricks up my sleeve in terms of how to get into the into that moment, into that zone. And it, they actually changed over time, over the length of my career. Um, and I shared them with my teammates uh, on the ski team when I was around. And I'm really happy, more than happy to share them with any athletes uh, 
on Team Canada in Santiago and Paris. Um, and of course, every athlete figures it out for themselves, but you can always tweak and adjust. And as Josh mentioned earlier, not get stuck in the superstitions. So, you know, I tweaked and adjusted over the course of my career to be able to keep coming back for more. <laughs> Mm, yeah, it's a different kind of momentum when you want to keep coming back for more. That's a totally different question indeed. Hey, Carolina, thank you for taking the time this morning. It was lovely to chat with you again. Thanks so much for having us, Dave. And Josh, a pleasure to meet you over the airwaves today. Uh, best of luck with the, uh, the, the chef de mission role as you move towards uh, Santiago and then next year to Paris. Thanks for the great discussion today, Dave. That is Carolina Vishniewska and Josh Vandervies. They are the co-chefs de mission for Canada heading into the Para Pan Am Games taking place this fall in Santiago, Chile and the Summer Olympics a year away. It's the pages on the calendar continue to turn as Paris will play host to the games next summer. Do you want to dive into more conversations like this? Watch Now with Dave Brown weekdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on AMI-tv or download the podcasts wherever you listen. Do you want to dive into more conversations like this? Watch Now with Dave Brown weekdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on AMI-tv or download the podcasts wherever you listen.